Hello. I'm... I know I'm probably going to regret this, but uh, I think I should start doing the other mutations as series as well. So I'm going to start out with uh, Ernest the Bible. So the piebald is, er, the piebald and arowana is fully grown. So uh, I'm good to show this now. So this is what it looks like. It's in its base skin, as you can tell by the uh, way it instantly just kicked me to here without spending a token. And male and female are different. Yep, so I'll show you the male in game and the female in game, but this is what it looks like in general. And that's what it, yeah, that would be its base skin right there. It lets you switch between the two, in case you don't like it. Which is always, which makes it a good option. And also it shows you what changed. Seems like the, uh, It doesn't seem like it follows a strict color map. This one might be a creature by creature basis thing. Yeah, this is what it looks like. So if you guys want to try to aim for one of these, you have to uh, get nested by someone else. So you have to uh, uh, menu, nest, select one of these it, that are in here. <laughs> if you're looking for a specific nest, uh, don't get your hopes up. <laughs> Not everyone nests, and not everyone finds it useful to nest. But right now, since the event is going on, a lot more people are going to be nesting uh, creatures like this. So you might have a higher chance of it happening. For underwater creatures right now. Yeah, so that's the male. That's what it looks like in the game. It looks pretty good. Now I'll show you the female in the game. Yeah, it's still pretty good. I kind of like the gender dimorphism this species has now. It's kind of cool. Yeah, this is basically just to get you guys interested in the nesting and the potentials of uh, these sorts of, you know, mutations because these are kind of cool not gonna lie piebald is 
be kind of awesome. Okay, I think that's it for this video. It's just a preview after all. <laughs>